Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I want to share with you about variable refrigerant flow. So if you just knew, you haven't heard of this, uh, we call it VRF system. VRF is actually a general term uh, to describe this type of system. You also heard of another one, they call it the VRV, you know. The last one is V, not F. So that one stands for variable refrigerant volume. So VRV actually invented by Daikin. So they patented the term VRV, so other people, we can just use VRF. So to understand VRF, right, we can compare it to the nearest uh, air conditioning system, which is the multi-split, right? We know multi-split have one outdoor unit and we can connect it to uh, various kind of indoor unit. But the thing is, the each indoor unit must have one pair of refrigerant pipe go back to the outdoor unit. Whereas for VRF system, we also can use uh, one outdoor unit connect to uh, multiple indoor unit, but the difference is each indoor unit we have one pair of refrigerant pipe and connect with the second indoor unit, then go back to the outdoor unit. Basically, at the outdoor unit you only have one pair of refrigerant pipe. So at each intersection, we use this uh, we call it the Y join to connect the copper pipe, right? To reduce the copper pipe. So this Y joint is only used for VRF system. Sometimes people will call it RefNet joint, you know, R E F N E T, RefNet joint. So this require welding, and the copper pipe will like two become one, uh, then two become one, another one become one, then all the way back to VRF. So uh, at the each intersection, you need two Y joint, one for the liquid line, one for the gas line. So you need uh, quite a few Y joint, no? So VRI system is actually a very flexible or we can say very versatile type of uh, air conditioning system. We have the small one all the way until the big one. So it, it depends on how you design it, but you see very fit in different, different application. Usually we see is the box type, you know, the square type, you know, uh, this type, you know, we got dual fan or single fan. Actually the small one, this one is, they advertise it to be used in this, uh, residential application. So generally it starts from about 4 ton all the way until uh, 40 ton. Some goes higher but I think the limit is somewhere there, you know, 500,000 BTU. So the application for VRS system, you know, of course small one we can use at residential houses or even similar advantage as the multi-split which is space saving, right? So those high-rise apartment, we can use it. So for the box type, you know, the big one, you know, modular, we can add up uh, more capacity one. Maybe you can use at small offices or like me, previously I installed uh, one of this uh, system in a bookstore and also a supermarket because their capacity is somewhere, you know, 10 ton, 20 ton, then you can use this uh, VRI system. Instead of installing a lot of single split unit, then this will come in very handy. So. Let's see a very typical example where VR system is really one of the best choice, you know, in the building. So an office building. Office building is like not big, not small, right? A medium size, you know, five floor. Uh, then the floor area, you know, maybe about 1,000 square feet per floor. Then let's say we use a rule of thumb to calculate, you know, 60 BTU, then you have per floor at 5.5 .5 ton, then the total capacity you need is 27 ton. So 27 ton is within the range of a VRF system. So if you are not using VRF, you know, your client asks you to design, what are you going to design? You can see the last time old building, right, office building, we have a bunch of outdoor unit hanging outside, you know, at the back of the building. That's why old building can't really have very nice full high glasses because you need a lot of outdoor unit, right? That's why the aesthetic also, it has a limitation. Nowadays, you see a lot of uh, building, they have very nice aesthetic. There's nothing out there. So probably they have you know, VRF system somewhere hidden, you know, usually on the roof. So you get rid of all these outdoor unit, then you can put one unit on the roof. Then the refrigerant pipe, you just run one pair and go down. So the space is really minimal right, for VRF system. This is the advantages of this VRF system and but there's a, a small limitation for VRF system is the vertical height you cannot exceed too much right 
For example, in uh, our this example, you measure from the lowest indoor unit up until the outdoor unit. The vertical height distance is 20 meter. No, 20 meter for a VRF system is no problem at all because most VRF system they can go up to like 80 meter or some even 100 meter. Uh, you need to install some uh, oil trap lah, but it can be done. The refrigerant and the lubrication oil can go back to the outdoor unit. So let's see why VRF system not suitable in certain application, right? Not all application is suitable. Even the building is within the capacity of VRF system. For example, you have a shopping mall, right? Shopping mall, the first thing, the problem is the refrigerant pipe will be too long. Because usually shopping mall, we have only one area for put the equipment. And the shopping mall is usually very wide, right? It's not much on the vertical height, but the horizontal distance. So that will stress the refrigerant pipe too long beyond the limit of a VRI system. Because usually VRI system, the maximum is around uh, 150 meter. That one is not the vertical height, but the total length uh, from the outdoor to the farthest indoor unit is 150 meter. Uh, so if the shopping mall is too big, then you can't use it, right? The second is obviously just plain capacity, not enough. Capacity actually is enough. You can install many, many VRS system to meet the capacity. But the thing become a maintenance issue, right? Then the failure rate will increase. Because every VRF outdoor unit, you have two compressor. Then you have a lot of VRF system. Maybe you have you know, 20, 30 compressor. Then the failure rate will increase, right? You can say uh, there's a redundancy, but also there is a problem with all the small electronic in each of the indoor unit. So all this thing is too much of a hassle. You know, better we just use a chiller. So the third thing is uh, not so efficient. Uh, sometimes shopping mall, they run very long hour. So VRI system is a air cool system. So naturally air cool is not so efficient compared to water cool. So if you use a water cool chiller here, then the operating cost will be lower. Then your client will be more happy, right? So the next application where VRI is not so good is hospital. Something to do with the air quality. Because VRI system is connected to those indoor units that is very basic. You no, know, wall mounted, ceiling cassette. Even the ceiling data also use just one layer of filter. Some VRI system that I've encountered, they use uh, air handling unit. Uh, so that one, yes, maybe you can consider if you are the indoor unit is an air handling unit. But if you compare to the usual you know, uh, air handling unit that we know, is customizable. So we can install HEPA filter, electronic air filter, even some uh, dehumidification like hot water piping coil. We can do a lot of things to control the air quality inside hospital, like operating theater, all these things. So if you are designing for hospital or some pharmaceutical things like uh, you know some sensitive thing, semiconductor factory, maybe VRF is not the best choice. So the third one is why we are asking why VRF is not installed in residential houses, right? We have the small four ton unit, you no, know, so good. Why we are not installing? Because it's just plain too expensive, you know, compared to multi split and single split. VRF system is very expensive. If you compare the price, you get a quote from a manufacturer. It's very expensive. Not just the equipment itself is more expensive, but because you have the Y joint, you need a labor to weld it. If your labor cost in your area is expensive then even more expensive even your labor cost is cheap but you still need a lot of work right because usually the single split or multi split we just pull one stretch of refrigerant pipe the copper pipe we don't need to do any welding except at the connection there but now you have to weld all the y joint all three welding spot per y joint there's a lot of work so it's too expensive so let's see what is the distinctive uh, advantages of this vrf system why it is so expensive, but we still want to use it. The first thing is because of the central monitoring and control uh, feature. So compared to multi-split, you know, VRF have this system. Multi-split can't give you this. So usually this is, they come with the mini one, is the wire controller, or you need a computer, then they will install a software for you. So the manufacturer will do it. And this thing is, you can see all the status of your indoor unit. You know, you can on off them remotely, you can put schedule, adjust temperature, check error code and everything. So 
The second reason you want to use uh, VRF is because you have this uh, vertical height limitation. You see, multi split usually just maximum is about two floor. You know, the distance between the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. If beyond that, then you have to use VRF system. You know, if the capacity allows, you know, other things uh, allow you, then VRF system is a very good choice. Alright, that's about it. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.